So how would you accomplish this synthesis? Well, let's see. We have a simple alkene as our starting material, and we end up with bromine on the primary carbon on one of our chains. So whenever you are starting with a simple alkene as your starting material, the very first step that you are always going to be looking at is going to be the radical halogenation reaction, which means that we are going to treat that molecule with Br2 and light, which is going to make the following product. And remember that when it comes to the radical halogenation, especially something like bromination, we are always going to be targeting the tertiary position and not the other ones. But our bromine is in the wrong place in the molecule. How can we move that bromine to a different position in our molecule? Well, there are no reactions that just move atoms across the molecule. However, we know that we can add halogen to a less substituted carbon via the radical hydrohalogenation of the alkene, meaning that if I have a predecessor looking like that, and we do the radical hydrohalogenation, then our bromine is going to end up on the primary carbon and not the tertiary one. So now the only thing that I have left here is to bridge my gap between my tertiary alkyl halide and that alkene that I have on the right side. And since this alkene is the less substituted alkene, my double bond is over here, while the more substituted alkene would have a double bond right there, we know that we'll have to use a bulky base. But since there is no such thing as a bottle in my lab that says bulky base, we need to use some real molecule, some real reagent. And when it comes to bulky bases, you have some choices. You can use the potassium terbutoxide, or you can use LDA, or you can use DBN if you like, or a million other things. The point here is that we got to use something bulky to make sure that we are getting the Hoffman alkene, the Hoffman double bond. So remember, while you cannot just simply move a functional group across the molecule, well, for the most cases, we can always do it via the creation of other functional groups.